Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Django application on AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So let's begin. So what is Beanstalk? Beanstalk is a simplified tool provided by AWS which uh, makes applications easier to deploy. So it automatically creates an EC2 instance, some S3 buckets or RDS databases for you on its own. So you can just focus on the deployment part. So it deploys an application using certain set of commands which are much simpler than deploying it on EC2 directly. So let's begin. And first of all, we need to have an AWS account, obviously. And now we can install AWS Elastic Bean CLI inside our system. So how to install that is by running the command, pip install AWS EBCLI. And this will install Elastic Bean CLI inside your local system. All right, so now you can get inside uh, your Django application rep repository or directory. So I have I am inside this folder, which is a sample Django application, and it is just a one pager application. Just I think this is just the uh, sample. Uh, yeah, it doesn't even have any template, so it is just the default Django template. So I have this application right here, and I have created a requirements.txt file on my own, which just has two requirements for now, which is Django or you couldn't con. You can create that using pip freeze for your application. Now we'll begin working with Elastic Bean. All right. So for this, you can have to initiate a Django application on Elastic Bean. For that, we need to first configure our AWS. So I'll just teach you how you can configure AWS inside your system. All right, guys. So now I'll show you how you can create access keys for your aws account so head up to your aws console and then head up to the your profile section uh your profile down bar and you can see the security credentials tab here now click on that and now scroll down to the manage key sec section and you can click on create access key here and now it will ask you to create the keys for a particular user uh, you can select the user for which you want to create some keys but i'll just select the root user which has all the permissions uh, but you can select any particular user which has limited access to the aws uh, services so i'll just create a access key for my root user here and i click on create access key so here's the access key uh access key id and secret access key as well you can copy these and set up in your aws configure uh, in a terminal all right so the second thing includes is downloading the aws cli uh, package you can install it for windows through the msi installer you can search for aws cli install and can hit up the first link here and now go down in the window section and you can head up to the aws cli uh, official link which is present right here and now you can uh, install it uh, any way you want and you can run this package like this and just follow through all the setup process and install the aws cli all right, it is already installed for me, so uh, it will not walk me through all the steps, but uh, those are just simple steps which requires access to directories or permissions, something like that. For installing uh, AWS CLI in your Linux system, the commands are re relatively simpler. So you just have to hit a call request to AWS CLI server, and then you have to unzip the file you have installed here, and then just uh, run this command sudo aws install that will install aws cli in your linux, linux system all right so after you install aws cli you can head up to your terminal uh, you can first restart your device and then head up to the terminal and look for aws hyphen hyphen version to verify if aws cli has been installed or not and if you get a version number just like this that represents that your cli has been installed now for configuring the uh, aws cli uh, for multiple services, basically to configure your AWS account inside Thermal, you can run the command AWS configure. And now you can enter all the access keys and all the uh, secret access and also the region name, which are present right here. Uh, as you can see, I've already entered it, so it shows me a value right here, but it will sh uh, show none if you have entered nothing as of now. All right, so I'll just click on enter because I don't want to change it right now. And AWS secret access key, you'll put, put the secret access right here. For the region name, just put the region name in which you're working. And for the default output format, you can keep it none as of now. All right, I know AWS has been configured now. So now you can start working with AWS. All right, so now we can move forward to creating an Elastic Bean instance. For that, you will need to run the command ed 
init and then hyphen b for the platform which is going to be python for us so i'll just write python and i'll choose the version 3.12 or something 3.12 or any version you like and now we can name it something like django application or django app and we'll run this command so this will initiate an elastic b instance for us perfect and now for the allowed hosts setting in the settings of you i need to add dot elastic beanstock.com to the allowed hosts i've just added a star which will enable any host to host this application all right so now after adding allowed hosts now we can create a proc file which is basically a configuration file for elastic bean to deploy the application or its platform so for creating a proc file you can click on new, new file and now just enter proc file for the proc file we'll just keep it simple so we'll create a web service which will run something like unicorn and then the path to my settings uh, to my wsgi file which is app dot wsgi and then i'm just going to bind it to the local host so this is basically a gunicon command to run a django application which will be used to deploy it on production servers like aws and ec2 all right so now we can run the next command which is creating a django environment so we can simply run the e eb create command for that and then we can write down the name of our environment which we're going to keep i'll just write something like django env and now i'll click run this command so this will create the whole application with the environment for us so now we just have to wait and watch until it's, it creates the whole application and it, at the end it will give it give us a deployed link on elastic beanstalk which will be used to access our application directly from browser all right so now we'll just wait for it to create the formalities and then we can move forward all right, so our application has been deployed, and as we can see, the Elastic Beanstalk has created some services for our application, including security groups, target groups, auto scaling mechanisms, and the EC2 instance, obviously, and also the CloudWatch alarm. And also, we have a load balancer right here. So, it has created multiple services for our Django application, which and deployed it on its own. Perfect. And now, if I check the EV status for application, we can see that it is ready and it's deployed on this url right here perfect so that's how you can deploy django application on aws beanstalk and that's it for the video thanks for watching